today I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV with a gun controller. Earlier this week I was able to get my hands on some Final Fantasy gun controllers. And by the way, did you know that Final Fantasy X-2 had gun controllers? I didn't know until now and as soon as I got them I immediately modded them to play the Machinist. And I don't know if you can tell but I might be really into this controller mod. So let's grab some eggs for our trying time and let's talk about the build. So yeah, back in 2003 Square Enix and Hori made a gun controller for Final Fantasy X-2. The box that the guns came in is probably the most early 2000s thing I've ever seen. The guns were based off of Yuna's twin pistols and games and were given the name Tiny B. I don't have much information to tell y'all on how good these controllers were for 10 2. No, seriously, I haven't seen any footage of somebody playing 10 2 with these controllers. To my surprise, these controllers work really well for 14. At the end of the day, the gun controller is just a PlayStation 2 controller in the shape of a gun. The right pistol has the joystick, while the left pistol has the D pad. All the PlayStation buttons are well built into the gun, like for example, the triggers activate R2 and L2. The rest of the face buttons can be found on the grip and on the magazine. Personally, I have big hands, so most weird controllers that I buy don't really fit me, but surprisingly the Tiny Bee does. And I can go on and on about these guns, but we'll save it for a future video. But for now, let's talk about how I played the Machinist with them. My main goal of the mod was to make it feel like I was literally blasting away my enemies as a warrior of light. To accomplish this, I wanted to make the triggers activate the Machinist's abilities and rotations. Sadly, by default, the triggers only activate RT and LT, which won't do anything in 14. Luckily for me, I spent four and a half years getting a student depth degree that came with a minor in computer science. I redesigned and reprogrammed my gun controller to create a queue system that allows me to blast through my rotations. It sounds really confusing, so I'll do my best to explain it. Using the D-pad on the left gun, I allow the user to queue in their next ability. Each D-pad input is mapped to the corresponding ability on the hotbar. Once the ability is queued, the user can just pull the trigger and it'll activate the ability. The right-hand gun will handle the right trigger abilities, while the left-hand gun will handle the LT abilities. At the beginning of modding, this only applied to the face buttons part of the hotbar, but I eventually got it to work with the other side too. Using the buttons on the magazine, the user can switch between D-pad inputs or the face buttons. Like I said earlier, it's a little confusing to explain, but once you start using the guns, it makes a ton of sense. For example, this is what the simple 1-2-3 rotation looks like. Nothing too hard, but I can tell you firsthand that this controller is really fun to play with. If I want to do some big damage, I just press the magazine button and fire away. Switching between the two sides of the hotbars became muscle memory after a couple of minutes. While using the setup, the hypercharge ability turns you into Danny DeVito. Once it's activated, you can just queue up the abilities and spam the triggers away. I don't think I'll ever play Machinist without these gun controllers again. Speaking of playing Machinist, I wonder how well these gun controllers will do in my daily roulette. Well, there's only one way to find out, so grab your cowboy hats and let's head to the Wow West of Erosia. I decided to livestream some gun controller gameplay by queuing up for some dailies. On the bright side, playing as a DPS, no one will ever know how bad I am with the gun controller. And overall, playing Final Fantasy XIV with them wasn't that bad. I'm still getting used to the gamepad controls, but I love the lock-on camera movement. I was able to do the mechanics for the first trial just fine and didn't commit any life insurance fraud. I eventually queued up for some Shadowbringers content, and to my surprise, I didn't cause my team to wipe. I will say the hardest thing about the gun controller was the joystick. They weren't terrible, but I definitely had to readjust my thumbs to move correctly in game. Also, one downside to the camera settings that I used was that some mechanics were hard to dodge, especially doing raids where the bosses had more special effects than the Michael Bay movie. <laughs> like, look, y'all, I can barely see myself here. After watching the live stream footage, I can tell I was generally having fun playing 14 like this. I'm not gonna lie, when I use hypercharge, I look like a total nerd, y'all. If you want to see me do these controller challenges live, check out my streams on YouTube. In fact, when this video goes live, I'll be streaming tonight at 8 p.m. Yeehaw time. I'll be playing Final Fantasy. 14 with a pizza controller? Like a pizza. Like a, a real pizza, huh? Y'all, I need some help.